Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how you can create a simple widget message system. This will be part of the inventory system, but it will also work without it. So let's get started. Here's the preview. I pick some items up and you can see how the information is displayed at the right with a simple animation. They can stack infinitely and will disappear after 4 seconds. And yeah, that's all. Let's start. Open the inventory series project or open a standalone project. Create a blueprint interface. And a function with a name something like create info item. Add an input string to it and name it message. After that, create a new widget folder and then create a widget which I will use to show the messages. You can also instead use a hut or something similarly. Open your widget and let's add a canvas and a vertical box to it. Then add a scroll box and set it to fill. Go to the event graph and then under class settings add the interface we just created. Then search for the event and add it to the graph. If that doesn't work, make sure to compile the interface and save everything. Then it should work. From the event, we want to create a widget node. And then let's create this widget. Name it something like info slot. Go back to the node and add this new widget to it. Make sure to set is variable to true on the scroll box. Then pull the scroll box in and get the add child node and connect the pins. Next, go to the info slot and add a variable message to it. Set it to exposed on spawn and instance editable. Back to the main widget, we can just say right click here and refresh. Then the message pops up and we can hook them together. Go to the character to show the widget. After the begin play, we want to create the widget. Save the widget into a reference variable and add it to the viewport. Next up, let's design the info slot. Add a horizontal box and set the screen size to 450. Then get a vertical box with a set to fill and a set to center on the horizontal alignment. Add a horizontal box and a border to it. And then add the text into the horizontal box. For the text, set it to font size 16 and to a light. The horizontal box that has the text gets a left and a right padding. You could also add a top padding. Oh, and set uh, the default text to something like level up. The border here should be centered horizontally and aligned vertically to the bottom. Then change the tint to a color you like. And yeah, we're finished with the design. Next, I want to create a small animation. So click on the animation drawer and add an animation called slide in. For the track, pick the top control and add the render opacity to it. Click on the number and set to it to zero. This should add a key on the track to the right. Scroll to the right one second and set the number to one. So we have a nice blend in animation. Next, add a transform and set the Y value to 115.
scroll again to the right and set it to zero, making a slight top animation. The next animation will be a destroy animation, also with the top control and with the render opacity. This time we start with one, so click on the number and just press enter, then scroll to the right and set it to zero. Set the is variable of the text box to true and then finally we can go to the event graph. Pull in the text and set it to the message we get here. Get the slide in animation and from that get the play animation. Then from the slide in variable get the bind to animation finish node. Create a custom event on slide in finished and combine the delegates. This allows us to react on the animation finished. Next, add a delay. This will be the time the message is alive. And after that, add the destroy animation and play it. Again, bind to the animation finished and create the custom event on destroy finished. After that, we just want to remove this from parent. And then we are finished. For the people that don't use the inventory system, I will create a test actor that spawns a message. So create it. And add a sphere and a sphere collision to it. Scale the sphere down and increase the collision of the sphere. Set hidden in-game to false so you can see the border of it. This is just for testing purpose. On the collision, click on the begin on overlap. Then cast to the BP character, get the info widget reference and add the create info item message. If you have problems to compile like me, go to the player and recompile and save it again. Go to your map, pull in the new actor and walk over it. As you can see, we get the slight animation and the item disappears after 4 seconds. Next for the people here from the inventory system, let's add this message system after we add an item. Go to the AC inventory, create a variable, which is a reference to the widget screen. Go to the character. After the create info screen, we want to get the AC inventory and set the info screen reference from here to the ref inside the AC inventory. So basically, we're just parsing the reference to the inventory. Back into the IC inventory and into the try add item, remove the print string and get in the create info item messages. Connect the WB info screen reference into them. Go into the increase amount function and from here we need the updated item info to go out of the function. So add the return node and add the out into it. Back into the previous function, get some space here and add an append node. Connect the other append to the second message. Then break the item out and connect the name to A and the amount to the pin C. Inside the B pin, type something like increase two. And for both texts, add spaces at the beginning and at the end. And now we can test it. Start the game and pick some items up. It should show the item name and the amount. 
Yeah, and that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, come join my Discord and I will try to help you there. See you in the next one.